I'm Jason Webster with Bex Hybrids. I'm the Practical Farm Research Innovation Lead. We've got a really interesting project involving narrow row corn. You know, I guess we've been evaluating the, you know, the industry standard of 30 inch row corn for about the past seven years or so. In our Practical Farm Research Program, we just wanted to get some answers of, of you know, farmers are used to 30 inch row corn, is there something better? So in our PFR program, we're always challenging the status quo. And so what we were hoping to find was, you know, I guess in the past, really 20 inch rows or narrow row corn hasn't offered that much of an advantage, but we've been waiting to see maybe the spike where narrow row corn takes off and shows an advantage over 30 inch rows. And so we can share that information with growers and maybe they could think about maybe taking advantage of some of the revenue gains that could, could be a result of it. In the last two years in our research, we've really seen that advantage for narrow rows. And some of our hybrids, there's actually revenue gains of over $100 an acre. And I guess, you know, we, we at Bex, we look at that, that extra $100 and say, in this economy that we have right now, we could probably use that extra revenue. So now the question is, do we want to switch to a narrow row program? If we do, how do we manage it? Because it's going to be a different management change for a lot of growers. So in our PFR program for 2016, we're working with some partners in the ag industry. One of those partners is Harvest International, where we're developing a multi-hybrid, multi-row width planner, where not only can we change hybrids on the fly, but we're going to be looking at different row widths, specifically 20-inch corn versus the industry standard of 30. So every pass with the planner will have a comparison of wides versus narrows. We'll be able to look at different hybrid selection, different seeding rates, different leaf architecture with these different hybrids in the two different row widths. It's going to be some great information um, just with, with those components. But we'll take it a step further. If growers are going to change the narrow rows, they're probably going to have to change their nutrient management program. So that's where the side dressing comes in. So now we've gone to Hagee Manufacturing and looking at some of the nitrogen toolbars that fit on the front of some of these high clearance rigs. We're making those match the planter. So it'll have 30s and 20s on the side dress bar and we'll just share with growers what it's like to side dress narrow row corn. You know, what kind of success or a failure are we seeing out in the field? We're just going to have the growers go along with us and then they can see how that's working. The next step is going to be harvest. How do we harvest narrow row corn? And what I want to do here is bring in some of the new multi-directional corn heads. So now I can harvest both row width systems, the 30s and the 20s, with one corn head and show growers some of that new technology that's coming out. Can it inhale corn, if you will, and can we clean it up without having a lot of harvest loss in the field? And, and it's just a, going to be a great story. So it's it multifaceted, and I think growers are going to love watching, watching this story throughout the next 12 months, really. As soon as we go to the field in the spring, we're going to be uh, documenting everything that we do. We'll be doing social media, showing video out in the field of the planter working. Once the corn comes up, we're going to share all that with, with everybody video-wise, PFR report-wise, social media, and showing what the differences look like in, in emergence and row width. And then as we start side dressing, we'll share that story online as well all the way through harvest. So really it's going to be a 12 month situation. You know, here we're at Commodity Classic here the first week of March. Maybe it's a situation where we release all of the yield data it, it, you know, in our PFR book, probably you know, in the winter time, and then maybe here at Commodity Classic a year from now, having all the comparisons with everything that we're trying to look at. This video is brought to you by Farms.com.